Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. Today we are bringing you mock interview on HTML5. This is a good exercise for you to test your knowledge on HTML5. So the rules are simple. Read all the options of the questions carefully. Try to complete this test within 10 minutes. There are 10 questions, you need to answer them. Try to answer the questions honestly and don't try to cheat. All right, let's get started with the first question. So which of the following features is part of HTML5? Persistent local storage, WebSocket, server sent events, or all of the above. So take your time, read to the options, and the correct answer is all of the above. That's right. So all of the things that are listed like local storage, WebSocket, server side events are all part of HTML5. The next question, which of the following is correct about custom attributes in HTML5? A custom data attribute starts with data hyphen and would be named based on your requirement. You would be able to get the values of these attributes using JavaScript APIs or CSS in a similar way as you get for standard attributes. The option C is both of the above or none of the above. You have five seconds to think. All right, so the answer is both of the above. That's right. So the custom attributes, you can, you can define them using data hyphen, like data hyphen toggle, data hyphen collapse, etc. And in JavaScript, we can process it just like any other attribute that we use. The next question is, which of the following input controls represents a date and time encoded according to ISO 8601 with no time zone information in web form 2.0? This is a little tricky question. So read through the question again. Your options are date time, date time hyphen local, date or month. All right, so the answer is date time hyphen local. That's right. So using date time hyphen local, we, the, the data is encoded to ISO 8601 with no time zone information. The next question is, which of the following tag provides a hint to the user of what can be entered in the field in HTML5? This is a simple one. Your options are output, placeholder, autofocus, or required. So to provide hint, what do we use? The answer is placeholder. That's right. So using placeholder, you can put some dummy text through which you can inform the user what needs to be entered. The next question is, how to delete a local storage in HTML5? To clear local storage setting, you would need to call local storage dot remove key, where key is the key of the value you want to remove. B if you want to clear all settings, you need to call local storage dot clear method. Option C, both of the above or option D, none of the above. Think about it, read through the options and your answer is both of the above. That's right. So individually you can remove local storage dot remove or you can remove all in one go using local storage dot clear method. The next question is. Which of the following is true about video tag in HTML5? MPEG4 files with H.264 video codec and ACC audio codecs are supported. You can use source tag to specify media along with media type and many other attributes. A video element allows multiple source elements and browser will use the first recognized format. Option D, all of the above. Take a minute, read through the question, read through the options, and your answer is all of the above. That's right. You can do all the above listed things using the video tag. The next question is, which of the following attribute triggers an abort event? So offline, on abort, abort, or on before on load. 
So your answer is on abort. That's right. That's the event we will use to trigger an on an abort event. The next question is which of the following attribute triggers event when media can start play but mult has to stop for buffering? On before play, on play, on can play, on can play through. So your answer is on can play. That's right. So that that's the option we will use to trigger an event of media can start play but might has to stop for buffering. The next question is which of the following attribute triggers event when media has reached the end of reach the end on drop on duration change on emptied on ended this is simple and your option is that's right on ended so when the media reaches its end we will use on ended so which of the attribute triggers event when the message is triggered on loaded metadata on load start on message on offline so here we are talking about um, progressive web app so it will have messages that are triggered so your answer is on message whenever a new message uh, arrives the tr attribute triggers this event whenever a message is triggered so all right so that was a top 10 questions on the mock interview of html5 i am also bringing you mock interviews on css javascript sql much much more if you like this video give a thumbs up and please do subscribe to get more mock interviews to practice, help you practice to keep supporting me please don't forget to subscribe and like the video thank you so much see you in the other mock interviews